I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our devotion today is titled I Still Matter and it's a story uh, that I would like to, to share with you because um, after reading this story um, it's really moved me to do things a little bit differently so have you ever been walking around and encountered folks who are homeless uh, I, th I think all of us have when we've been at traffic lights and things like that so have you ever crossed the other side of the street or redirected your gaze to avoid eye contact, pretended they weren't really there? Um, be honest, I know I have and I was not proud of myself when I did. So here's the story of a man who shares his own experience with this same situation. So the man was in downtown Indianapolis for um, his job and he was walking out of a restaurant after a meal. He noticed a couple that were sitting quietly on the sidewalk with a sign that said homeless vet, no job, no food. This time he decided to engage instead of avoid them. So he asked if he could sit down and talk to them for a while and um, instead of, you know, walking, walking on by. Um, so he noticed uh, he had a bag of leftovers and he asked if they minded if he left the food with them. So the man immediately then gave the leftovers to his wife, so the vet, okay? So um, as the homeless man began to talk, uh, the man just listened to him. So the vet thanked him for the food and just for stopping and to talk to them. And then the vet went, the vet, um, went on to tell him how he'd served in Iraq, came home, and worked construction. And as the economy tightened, both he and his wife had lost their jobs, their home, and much of their dignity. And, you know, this young man had placed his life in harm's way um, for me and for you, for, you know, everyone else. And so he thanked um, the, the vet thanked the man repeatedly for the food that he was giving and for stopping and listening to his story. The man thanked the vet repeatedly for his, his service to our country. So the vet did not need or deserve the man's pity. He just deserved and needed his respect, which he was able to, to get um, from him. So after learning of this story, I try to no longer avoid the homeless or pretend that they don't exist. Um, you know how at the end of my devotions each time I'm on here, I always direct you to be better today than you were yesterday. And do any of you know why I do that? It's how I try to live my life each day. Learning from stories such as this one and others throughout the week gives me an opportunity to be a better person each day. And I want that for each of you. So yes. I will direct you once again to be better today than you were yesterday. Have a great day, Sea Shepherds.
taking a deep breath and as you breathe out feel your body begin to relax listen to the sounds around you just observe what you can hear perhaps a car passing by birds singing in the trees outside maybe you can hear the creaking of the building just notice listen to the sounds around you and with every sound that you hear you become more and more relaxed slipping deeper and deeper down deeper and deeper down more and more relaxed with every sound that you notice just notice and observe all of the subtle sounds around you as you are still peaceful quiet and centered you are still peaceful and quiet turn your attention inside your body now see if you can hear the beating of your heart if you are quiet enough and still enough you can actually hear and feel the beating of your heart feel the energy flowing around your body renewing relaxing nurturing and healing every cell within you with the beating of your heart now when you are ready take in a deep breath and as you breathe out have a gentle stretch whatever feels comfortable for you right now just like a cat waking up in the morning you are feeling energized confident and deeply relaxed ready to enjoy a beautiful wonderful day mm -hmm.